Hey everybody, Travis here from Travis.media. I did a fairly detailed blog post recently on a new application on AppSumo called Relay That. And that's what you see here on the screen. Relay That is a program that allows you to create marketing images at all different sizes with ease. And this was absolutely wonderful for me to find and for them to present because I spend a lot of time uh, creating social media images and blog images and, and things that uh, you have to resize and um, align and all this other stuff. I just spend a lot of time doing that and for this um, program to come on the radar was just wonderful. So um, I wanted to do a quick video though. I've been using it a few days and I still recommend it heartily. But um, I wanted to do a video to talk about the strengths that I found with it for me. Of course, you'll have to figure it out for your own business. But I want to talk about a couple things that I found that are just golden and then a couple of things that I won't be able to use it for. All right. So for instance, let, let's just go ahead and get started. For instance, um, on my blog, my featured images are an odd size, 768 by 450. If you've used Relay that yet, you'll notice that there is no custom sizes. Everything is already sized. And I was thinking um, I could take the blog post size, I think it's 1200 by 800, something like that. I can take it, make a bunch of them, and then just crop them or something to make them work out. But it didn't work out, and I was kind of bummed at first because I was looking forward to just knocking out images for my blog. But um, I realized it's not a big deal. I kind of enjoy making images for my actual blog, for the featured images. I enjoy taking the time to do that. But like I said, I was kind of bummed out, and I was like, what, are, what am I going to use this program for then? But man, I started playing with it in a, in a couple days. I came to realize the strengths of it, and I want to share that with you. And I want, I want you to do so for your business as well. So a couple things. This is a blog post, the best music to listen to while coding, my top two choices. If I click on that, you'll see that I don't even use the featured image. I like to put in a Pinterest size image. Well, I did use the featured image, but I also created a Pinterest style image here. Okay, and let me go back and find another one just, just so. Um, let's take this one. So I didn't use a featured image, I have a Pinterest image instead. I started thinking, okay, I can create featured images for my blog, and I may even create these Pinterest images, but if you've used Pinterest at all, you've, you, you know that the purpose of it is to repurpose your posts and to repurpose um, quote images and things like that. So if I create a blog post, 10 actionable steps to increase website traffic and turn your hobby blog into a profitable business. If I create this image and I share it on Pinterest, I don't want to keep sharing the same image. I want to repurpose that image and change the text and things like that. And that is why I think Relay That is golden because I can go and create, you know, a bunch of different graphics for this one post that I can share on Pinterest over time. So instead of using it for my blog, I can use it for to, to I can use it to repurpose images for social media. And I think that's huge and for in for social media engagement, online engagement. Um, so let me just show you what I mean. So if I come over here, uh, well let let's let's just create something real quick. So um, let me go back and find something that's not such a long title. Uh, so how, how about this? How to make CSS changes without any coding knowledge. Here's my featured image. Uh, I didn't put a Pinterest image. So let me just grab this text. So let's say I made this featured image. I made a Pinterest image. I've shared them already. I don't want to share it again. Let's see how we can repurpose this. So over here in title, I'm going to put in my title. And then let's see how to make, take CSS changes. So when it comes to CSS and it comes to coding, I'm going to go to my uh, images over here and I'm going to type in something like programming. And let's see what comes up. So let's find a good image here. Let's just take this one. I'm going to drop this one in. So let that load up. So I have a, a, an image of a computer with some, um, I don't know what that is, HTML, some kind of code on there. Anyway, how to make CSS changes without any coding knowledge. And let's just say I wanted this to be on Pinterest. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to scroll up and find 
my tall post. You see that P right there that tells me that, that it's good for Pinterest. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to scroll down until I find something that I like. Um, let's see. And I, you, you can see I still have that image of you know somebody tying their shoe. So I can always change that, but the, the, these smart layouts are going to give me all different choices. As soon as I find one I like, I'll just run with it. So, so let's say I decide to go with this. All right. How to make CSS changes without any coding knowledge. See this lady tying her shoe? I don't want that. Let me go back. Let me throw in something programming. I want to find my image again. Or let me just pick any image for the demonstration. Here's a, compu here's a computer with a pen. Down here they suggested I put in a hashtag. I don't want a hashtag. Uh, but I may put in my own website, Travis.media. And let's say how to make CSS changes. Let's make CSS changes the highlight text without any coding knowledge. So look at that. Uh, actually, let's do a few things. The hashtag, which is going to be the font too, I'm going to change that, uh, let's just change it to black, and let's make it a little more bold. Uh, how about that? Let's just run with that. So here I have, within one minute, um, a Pinterest image I can share. Now let me click down here and see if I have any options to resize. All right, I resize it, and all of a sudden I have an Instagram image and a wide post, something I can probably put on Facebook. So that's great, so, so I can go up here, I can download that. So I have an Instagram and I have a Pinterest version of this blog post. So I can set that to share later this week. Um, and then let me go and find another old post. Let me go back to blog. So how about this one? The four best Udemy courses for web developers and designers. Here's my featured image, which I wouldn't make with Relay that. Um, and then there's some images down there. So let me just grab this title. And so let's go ahead and say that I shared this or I set that up to share. Um, and, I, and so I'm gonna put in the text here. Four best Udemy courses for web developers and designers. And let's say I wanna set this one up for Instagram. So I'm going to check my square posts here, and let's find one we like. How about something like that? Kill that overlay. Whoops. I don't want that overlay on it, and I don't really want that behind it. So I may get rid of. Um, I may get rid of that and just put the blue color. So let's say I want to share this, the four best Udemy courses, and I'm going to highlight uh, the four best. Four best Udemy courses for web developers and designers. And to put my font, something neat. Let's just do this. Hey, that's what I want to share. All of a sudden, a couple minutes later, minute, two minutes later, I have something here to share. I, ha I have another repurposed image by which to share my blog post. Now let me go down here and hit the resize button. Now look at this. I have Pinterest. I have uh, a Facebook cover if I wanted. I have a LinkedIn profile cover, Twitter header, blog post. And this is 1200 by 800, by the way, the wide post a wide banner if I wanted to put some kind of banner on my website this is super so awesome I, I can now repurpose this post on social media um, and attract more engagement from it so there I have within just a couple minutes I'm able to share two blog posts on all different social platforms and it looks great and it's very easy to do now let me show you one more thing that I'm gonna do with it Let's say web design quotes. Let's say web design quotes. And here it is. 25 inspiring quotes for web designers by Skill Crush, the boot camp. All right. Um, let's find a good one here. D digital design is like painting, except the paint never dries. Let me highlight that. I'm going to go to relay that. 
And I'm going to choose, let's go and choose style and choose a quote marked style. And by the way, style has some really neat stuff. Let's look at this. Mockups, if I want to put some, some things on a screen. Um, style has infographics, book promos, audio covers, collages. It's, it's super. Lots of good stuff here. Look at these ads. Banner ads, media board, Facebook ads. You got watermarks. Anyway, quote marked. Let's, let's try a quote marked image. So let's let's look down. Actually, let me go ahead and put in my text so we get a feel for what it what was going on. Neville Brody. I don't know who in the world that is? So here's the full name, Neville Brody. And let's go find a good image. Hmm. Let's just run with this. I don't like that. That's from some other project that I did. Get rid of that. This. Um, how about we do this? Paint. And here's a paintbrush. Look at that. Boom. Paintbrush. And let's say we don't like that white. Let's, uh, let's see. Let, we can invert it. No, that looks scary. Mm, blur it. We don't know. We don't want to blur that. How about black and white? No. Saturate. Let's just leave that for the purpose. I'm not going to sit here and take you through all that. And I don't like this orange overlay. I might choose a different color, but I'm just going to take it off for now. And now I can't see the text. Let's make the text black. Boom, the text is black. And then let's find a big, huge font. Um, yeah, I don't like that. Let's just go with that. Digital digital design is like painting, except for the paint never dries. Let's highlight paint never dries. And wow, yep. So uh, my color's orange. I don't feel like looking up the exact orange. So just like that, make the highlight orange too. So just like that, I have a, a quote text, a quote. Why do I keep saying quote text? A quote image to share on social media. I can come down here, I can check some different sizes. It only gives me one for this design. So let me get rid of that overlay. And this is a wide post, so I might can share this on social media. So anyway, that, that's just an example of what you can do. You can find some quotes, you can throw them on social media, you can re repurpose it for different um, platforms. And anyway, well, this was supposed to be a quick video, I kind of dragged out a little bit, but anyway, my point is that though I can't use it for my blog, I have found a great use for it in social media repurposing of my blog posts and of doing quote images, doing infographics, all of that stuff. And we didn't even look at infographic. I don't think I've even looked at that yet. Uh, style, infographic. Yeah, great. Look at this. Wow. What is that? So I can just take this and I'll come down here, kill that overlay. I can take take this and put some um, good information in and and that's great. So anyway, um, I realize that I can use Relay That to um, create images for my blog posts that I can repurpose on Pinterest and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all these things like that. I can do that quickly and often by just a click of a button. That's great. Uh, okay, so I hope that helps you kind of get a feel of some things you can do with this program if you feel limited by the fact that you can't do custom images or um, you can't move stuff around. All of that's covered in my um, review of Relay That. And I hope this video helped, and I hope it opened your mind to some things you can do with this. So anyway, subscribe to the channel. More videos like this coming, and I hope you have a great weekend or week, whatever, whenever you watch this. Bye.